Okay, hello and welcome to my Let's Play. This is my first Let's Play, and it's going to be about Yume Nikki. Um, not much can be said, mostly that, um, I played this before, and, well, I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm probably going to get a little bit lost. And there's all the, what you have to do, and basically the flow of the game. And here's our protagonist. Um, her name is Matsuki, and not much else is known about her right now. You'll you'll see what happens basically. And uh, basically, most of the things in the world are like what's that word? <laughs> You can touch them and they're interactive to a point. I mean, she won't go outside her door unless she's in the dream world. And you can turn on her TV and there's a game that she can play right here called Nasu, but uh, I don't want to play it. Maybe I'll show it to you another time. And then this is where you'd put all of your stuff into your journal if you wanted to, but we'll not put that in there. start out outside on her balcony, and it looks exactly like her room, except uh, there's no game system, and when you turn on the TV, you get that. Or you can get another thing, which I might try to do later for y'all. But first, we want to get an item that's going to be very helpful, and it's the, um, the bicycle. So, this is the wrong room. <laughs> As you can see already, this is a pretty freaky game. I recommend not playing this game at night, like I did one time, and I had nightmares about the whole entire night. But not as much nightmares as I had when I was playing LSD Dream Emulator. Ah, this is good. That game was... I'm, <laughs> I'm not lying, that thing was creepy. And I'd get scared out of, like, no reason whatsoever. There'd be random something and I'd be scared. And this room, whatever you step on, makes a noise. And the item we're looking for is, like I said before, the bicycle. This game requires a lot of exploration. something, I don't really remember, and I had a blast with it, I, I really liked it, it's a, it's a really charming game, when you get past, um, some of the other parts of it, ah, here we go, here's the bike, okay, to use your items, press X, and then equip the bicycle, and get your underway, other effects you'll have to use the one button to activate and such. And most of the effects have no real purpose other than just kind of being there. Um, what else should I get? Um, maybe I should shoot for the... Shoot for the knife. That's the snow place. Which I've... If you haven't noticed by now, I've forgotten which all the doors go to, so... Oh, here we go. Now, if you don't come in here with the light, you're gonna get yourself a little bit lost. And, uh... Yeah, kinda like- oh god, that, that scared me a little bit. Um, kind of like me right now. Maybe you ain't lost. Um, I could go through that door, don't really want to at the moment. I'm trying to look for the knife. Basically, we 
go ahead and light. This is your only means of going through this place. And, um... Oh, here it is. Like, you can kill things with it, basically. Um... The rooms... They aren't like... Whoa. <laughs> they aren't like, um... They repeat. They're not like endless rooms. Um... Basically. Uh, now that I have this, maybe we can try and see if we can find Kill Cucumber. If he's there. It's um... It's a chance-based thing. This game has a chance-based thing for some of the events that happen in the game. Oh! It's our lucky day! <laughs> We're like your unlucky day and this is like the first time you're watching <laughs> this game because uh, things are about to get a little bit creepy. See, if um, normally those little slippery things will look a lot like um, like that, little smiley guys. But um, this one is different. This one can actually change. If it looks like this, and you have a knife, you can use a knife and um, do that and kind of breaks open kind of disgustingly <laughs> in a gorific kind of way and get into this kind of creepy room and here's where we meet one of our uh, one of the well-known friends of uh, Yume, according to the fan base, his name's QQ Kun. He strokes poles. That's all he does. And, um... For the sake of my ears here, I'm going to take my headphones off and um, enjoy your mind F-word because uh, this part's going to be a little creepy. Just going to warn you here. And um, welcome to the face! Yeah, I don't want to wake up to that. Seriously, when I first saw this, I was playing it at night. I uh, really didn't know what to do. I was just kind of sitting there. But the weird thing about the face is um, it can either be smiling or it can be frowning, depending on what happens and what you do to get to it. Can I, can I exit you? Ooh, okay. Yeah, so then you just wake up after that. But it can be smiling or frowning, depending, I think. I don't know. When I saw it, I thought it was frowning the last time I saw it. Yep, so then this is your journal thing and diary. And all you do is just save. And that's it. Uh, might as well give you a demonstration of this game real quick. I do basically is catch shrimp. And I, I failed. <laughs> Be frankly honest, this is kind of really dumb. <laughs> but it's a, it, it's a cute little thing. But it, yeah, your margin of ear is very small. And, uh, so that's the first episode of You My Nikki. I hope you like my uh, first episode of my first LP, and I'll be back uh, tomorrow to show you more. Okay, F10.